Hello and welcome to the Beauty Saga. I'm Parisa Saga and today's video is all about my current beauty favorites. I have not done a favorites video since March. This video is so crazy overdue. I have so many newfound things that are absolutely great. So if you wanna see my current beauty favorites and just what I have absolutely been loving on these past few months, just please keep watching. I have found a bomb sunless tanner. This is the St. Morris Instant Self Tanning Mousse. I use the shade Dark. It has a color guard so you won't end up with streaks because it actually tells you like where you where you left off and where you need to keep going. It has like an olive undertone to it so you don't look orange. If you use it a couple days in a row, you get insanely dark. Since the last time I sunless tanned, I have showered four times and I can still really see the color. It's perfect, it doesn't like fade weird, it doesn't crack, it doesn't do any of the weird stuff that other sunless tanners do. Definitely use it with a mitt, but it is hands down the best sunless tanner I've ever used. Okay, so since I got my hair like crazy colored, I can't wash my hair as often as I used to, which was every day. So I have been testing dry shampoos like a crazy person, and this one, this is Hask brand. This is the coconut dry shampoo. This is the best dry shampoo. This is even better than Batiste. It smells so nice. It really absorbs the oil. Definitely gives a bump of volume. This stuff is awesome. Okay, so I got some new drugstore sponges that I absolutely love. So this first one is the L'Oreal like infallible sponge. This sponge is so soft, like it is like a pillow. I've heard a lot of people saying that there's ripped. You're looking at one that's been washed probably 40 times. Yeah, probably 40 times. I wash my beauty sponges every single day with soap to get the previous day's foundation out before I use it on my face every day. So this sponge has seriously been washed like 40, at least 40 times. And there are like a couple little cracks in it, but like, yeah, only two cracks. So I haven't had the experience that this sponge like excessively rips. I'm pretty gentle with my sponges, I take good care of them, and this L'Oreal one is just like, oh, the softest pillow. I also love this EcoTool sponge, EcoTool's Total Perfecting Blender. I already have a backup, this is how much I love this sponge. It has these like great little curves for getting really, you can really get in there and like blend your concealer out. It's got a bouncy end for the rest of your foundation. Pretty soft, I mean the L'Oreal one is like a little bit softer, but this one reminds me more of like the Real Techniques. It washes amazingly well, no rips in this one, and it's been washed probably just as many times as the L'Oreal one. Great drugstore sponges. You will not be disappointed if you pick up either one. They are so good. I have foundations to talk about that are not the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation, which is like my all-time favorite foundation and I basically wore it every day for six months, but I have got some new loves. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I wear two different shades. So the first shade I ever picked up was this 128 Warm Nude. It is way too dark for me. This foundation like matches me perfectly. Like the very first day I'm freshly like self tanned. It's very, very dark. This was the only one I could find that had like a yellow enough undertone that was light enough. This was like the lightest yellow undertoned one in the range. Until one day I was shopping at Walmart and I realized that Walmart has a way bigger shade selection of this foundation than Ulta or Target does. And I found this one, it's called Light Beige 118. This one is like the, it's like perfectly matches my natural skin, my unself tan skin and it's got a very nice like yellowy undertone. It looks beautiful on. So I've been mixing these foundations like crazy because obviously this is the absolute darkest I can be, but as my sunless tan fades, I put more of the lighter shade in. They blend beautifully together though. I always can like get my perfect shade. This foundation 
wears super well. It doesn't over texturize texture on the skin. It looks really nice on pores, keeps oil controlled in the T-zone, and it's got a really decent coverage. A $6 foundation. I know I'm super late to the party on this matte and poreless one. It's been out for a really long time, but because I didn't know that there was an extended shade range and that there was a lighter one available to me. I never really gave it a fair go. So yeah, if you've had any trouble finding your right shade, look at Walmart. They have like easily 15 more shades than any other place. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I have been wearing this foundation so much recently. I have the shade 205, which has a really beautiful yellow undertone, but again, it's like one of those foundations that's like super dark for me. I actually picked this bottle up at the end of summer last year and it matched me because I had like this beautiful tan rockin'. So I can wear this foundation when I sunless tan because it actually matches my body. And I just love the way this foundation looks. It just, your skin looks like so fresh and so bright and I have really oily skin and like this even though it's a glow foundation and it's supposed to be moisturizing and it says it's for dry skin it really holds up on oily skin and I can get like easy seven hours wear out of it and if I commit to touching up throughout the day I can get it to go even longer so it's a pretty decent long wearing foundation it photographs beautifully it's a plus love it so I talked about NYX's pore filler in my last favorites video. Nothing works better on these craters right here than this stuff. I love this primer. But I have a new NYX primer lover. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. It says it is a skin perfecting primer that is oil free. This primer is like a really like smoothing primer. It's not like a silicone-y feeling one though. It's kind of, it's almost hard to explain. It just feels like velvety <laughs> across the skin. But this is so good if you have textured skin. Like sometimes like when I'm breaking out, I get like really textured, really bumpy, gross skin right on my cheeks. And this like smooths out the skin so much. I love wearing this Angel Veil Primer with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. It just like together, it's like the perfect combination even when my skin is breaking out. Like it just looks so smooth and like not cakey. It's awesome. You have acne prone skin. I really, really suggest you give this Angel Veil a try. The NYX Epic Ink Liner. This eyeliner is amazing. It's so easy to apply. It dries down. It's like this bold, beautiful black color. And with this like tip, it is so easy to do wings. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't run. It doesn't crack. It's just it's amazing and it makes doing wings like so much easier. The Koki Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in Champagne. This is my absolute favorite thing to run in my waterline because it has this beautiful like champagne highlightery glow right there on your inner rim. But it's not stark white or anything. It's obviously like a champagne nude color. So it just makes you look more like awake and your eyes look bigger and more doll like and I just like, I love this pencil. I have not stopped using it since I purchased it. Every day I want it in that waterline because it looks like a highlighter. It's so cute. And then my current ride or die mascara situation, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I have the non-waterproof version in blackest black. I did an entire video dedicated to this, but like it makes my top lashes like vavoom. Like, I have really stubby, sparse, don't like to hold a curl, just terrible natural lashes. And I honestly can just wear this mascara, no falsies, and like be happy with the way my makeup looks. And then of course, L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black for the bottom lashes. Part of the reason I love this so much is like this wand is just like so small and like absolutely perfect for getting my little sparse, short, bottom lashes and actually kind of making them look like I have something. These are great mascaras. The Jordana Sculpt and Go Stick in Light. I love this because the tone of it, it's like, it has like just enough of a gray hue, but it doesn't look ashy. So it's like just the perfect combo of like an, of an, a grayer hue. 
so that it actually looks like a very convincing contour, like there's a hollow there. I love this, it's so creamy, it's pigmented, it blends out like a dream. I absolutely love this to cream contour with. And I've been doing it every day, like on my cheeks and my nose, I've been using this like every day. Even when I don't cream contour the rest of my face gotta have the sculpt and go stick it's just it looks so beautiful going along with contour i've been using the pixie by petra natural contour powder this powder is a tad bit expensive it is like still considered drugstore pixie products are available at target and this retails for 20 bucks which is kind of too rich for my blood i'm gonna be honest with you but, I mean, the compact has a mirror, and then this tone, it is just the most beautiful, like, perfect contour color, because it's not too warm, it's not orangey, it's got, like, that bit of gray that you need when you're paler like me, but it doesn't look ashy, and the powder itself is, like, crazy pigmented, it's so soft, so smooth, like, just buttery it like can be applied sheer or built up to however crazy you want your contour to be i'm really impressed with this powder don't love the 20 dollars price tag on it but it's so good i can't be mad at it when it's so good bronzer i've been using the physician's formula butter bronzer and let me just oh the smell it's like a tropical paradise but that's honestly not what i love about it it's it's a matte bronzer it's really like smooth it has this beautiful look on the skin i take my morphe y1 powder brush and then just like dust it all over my face and i just oh i'm wearing it today i love the way it looks it's not like super matte so that it looks bad but it's not super sheeny so that you look greasy it's just like this perfect combo it's an excellent excellent color for a bronzer it's not orangey, it's not too golden, it's just, it's the sweet spot. And it smells like freaking tropical heaven. I had never picked up this bronzer because it is like a $14 bronzer and I was like, damn, too rich for my blood, but it's the best bronzer I've ever used, I swear. You are getting 11 grams of bronzer in this too, so it's pretty dang big. Best bronzer at the drugstore best bronzer I'm just gonna go ahead and say it it's so good it's so beautiful like it just looks like natural tan like it doesn't look fake it's mm, the best the Cody airspun powder it's great for setting like all over the face when you have oily skin honestly it keeps the t-zone so matte it like doesn't cling to texture on the cheeks it's also super great for baking under the eyes and like brightening everything up it's only six dollars this is a six dollar powder and you're getting like five thousand pounds you're getting uh 65 grams of product in here for six dollars the scent doesn't even bother me as much as it used to like i kind of like it now i got used to it and now it's like part of doing my makeup like i don't feel like i'm doing my makeup if i don't have a little bit of cody airspun in the this is just a great translucent face setting powder especially you have oily skin and you need to keep yourself matte in the summer like this is the powder you want my friends setting sprays so milani's make it dewy made my last favorites video it is still one of my favorites it's like down to here right now i just keep using it i love it it like takes the powderiness away of your makeup it's amazing, it has a really nice sprayer. And a more newly discovered one that I really, really love is this new Hard Candy Sheer Envy Brightening Setting Spray. It says it helps to tone and brighten. It has rose water in it and vitamin C, so it smells like oranges and roses. It's like really yummy. It really like takes away the powderiness, but it also gives like a vibrancy to your skin that you just look sort of like youthful and radiant. I love this setting spray. I also use it as skincare, so I spray it on my face, get that rose water and vitamin C in my skincare routine. So it's one of those sprays that you could use in your skincare routine, you could use as a primer, you can use to set makeup, you could use to spritz on your brush and make your eyeshadow pop more. It's just, really really good it's only six dollars too 
so good. I have got to talk about the NYX Brights palette. I love this palette. I find myself reaching for it all the time, reaching for like just one color in it to complete an eye look, using a bunch of these colors to complete crazy eye looks. The vast majority of these shades are matte, which I think is what I love so much about it. There are a few exceptions of shimmers in here, but mostly it's matte. So these make excellent crease colors, excellent lid colors. They're so beautiful, like transitioning. It's such crazy good quality. Whenever I use this on my eyes, like my shadow lasts all day. It looks crazy good. Right now I've got the red popped on my lid and it just in your face. I always need it to complete an eye look. For brows, I've been back on this hard candy brow ink. I like left this in my collection for so long I didn't use it. I've had it a decent long time, like about a year. It has like the littlest wand imaginable. And you can just really like run it through your brows and like fill in the any patches or any sparse parts you have and then just like it really like locks your brows into place. It is like the best quick brow product I've ever used. It's so good and like it just makes your brows look like they're on fleek. Okay so a lip product. This like lives in my purse and like no matter what makeup I've done, no matter what makeup color I've done, what it looks like, whatever, this color, this is the Revlon HD in the color sand. This color looks great on the lips. It's kind of like a your lips but better color and it lives in my purse because I after like my liquid lipstick starts to crack and I take it off I will wear this for the rest of the day every day. It is such a good color. You see that like nudie your lips but better color? Every day. Every makeup look. It's a must-have. It's so, it's so easy. I've got some highlighters. Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Golden. This is a beautiful gold color. I did a dedicated video to this highlighter. The formula is a little bit thicker, so you have to use a very, very light hand, but it is like wha-bam on your cheeks. It stays all day. It looks just like, it really gives you that like lit from within radiance if you sheer it out and if you pack it on you're just blinding and last but certainly not least i have been obsessed with this makeup revolution triple baked highlighter in goddess of love which is crazy because when i first got it i was like i don't know me and pink highlighters i don't know they're not my favorite and this one is so i'm wearing it today it's so just like beautiful, prismatic. I love that it's pink because it blends super well with blushes. I'm so surprised because I just in general do not like pink highlighters, but this one, there's something really special about this pink. Duochrome pink, it's just it's so beautiful. And this, oh my gosh, these powders are so smooth, so soft, like, crazy good quality from Makeup Revolution. I'm sorry that that was so long. I promise I will not go three months without doing a favorites video again. I have been trying crazy amounts of makeup recently and these are the things that are sticking out to me as the best of the best. Please subscribe if you have not done that already. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below for me and I will definitely get back to you. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat, and I have a Twitter. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media. As always, thank you so much for watching and I really hope that I'm gonna see you on my next video.